Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and today's video is going to be another photography related video. So I did a self portrait video how to a few months ago um, for indoor self portraits. It has been requested for me to do another one or go into more photography related videos. So here I am with another one. It is noon, the sun is out and I am going to be going back there in the woods being like this time of day in these like the woods with no leaves or anything so all the shadows it is like absolutely the time that I do not like to take pictures at so I decided I would be up for the challenge today and take self portraits just for this video to kind of challenge myself a little bit but I'm going to be using this tripod that I have um, I use it in all of my videos with photography basically um, I really like it because it's very sturdy and it gets really tall so that I can get kind of a more ideal angle. I don't like having to like squat down in my pictures so that it, my whole head can be in the frame. I like this one because not only do both of the legs extend and give it height that's almost at my eye level, but also there's something um, up here that you can like twist it and it gets even higher. So I love that. I don't like short little tripods. For my camera, I'm going to be using my Nikon D5100 and I'm going to be using my Sigma 15 to 50 millimeter 1.28 lens. Um, I'm also going to be using this little remote I got from Amazon. It's for Nikon cameras. There's a setting in the camera body where you can use this to focus and take the picture so that you don't have to worry about um, self-timing it or anything. It makes it super easy and super fun. Um, in some of the shots too, I also just got a new House of Flynn camera bag, which I love and I haven't been able to take a picture with me wearing it yet, so I'm going to be using that in some of the shots too. What I am filming on, I am filming on my new GoPro Hero 6. I really like the quality of this so far and I'm practicing using it for um, a bunch of different things. So I just decided that this would be a great little camera to use for filming kind of the behind the scenes. It's going to be on a little bit of an unstable tripod, but it's the one that like fits perfectly with this camera. So I was like, you know, if it falls over, it's fine. But <laughs> yeah, so I guess we're gonna get started. All right, so right now, this is kind of the camera setup that I have. Whenever I do portraits, but this time of day with the sun really, really high in the sky, I at least like it to be behind the subject so it can kind of have like that backlight. When I looked for somewhere to put the camera, for example, I have this really big tree here and then all of these little trees. I wanted to make sure that I would not get that big tree in the shot just because I wanted it to kind of be more symmetrical in the background, not so distracting. I don't know if that really makes sense to anyone else, but I would rather just have for my camera to just get like this little section right here. For self-portraits, when I think of what I'm going to wear, I usually do not like to wear green. I'm from Ohio, so... Um, there's typically lots and lots of green and I don't like to blend in with the background of my portraits so I don't like green I usually really like neutral colors because of editing style I have I would rather have neutral colors in the picture they usually edit better um, I try to avoid like reds and like bright yellows too so today I just went with gray but yeah that's all I have for right this second um, Let's get started. Okay, I think one of the other really important tips that I have is that make sure your viewfinder is flipped out so you can see yourself to make sure that you're in the frame, you're in focus, you like your settings, um, you like the lighting and all of that. So I can see myself on this side and I have my remote right here. So I'm gonna get started. Okay, I like this lighting better than I thought. I want the horizon line to be even too, and it wasn't, so I just adjust the legs of the tripod to make sure that it's straight. <laughs> you don't want your subjects falling off, so. I also try to, if I'm gonna have this in the pictures, I wanna hide it with my hands, and you have to like consciously do that or I usually drop it if I have like a shot like holding my face or something. Let's see. Um, 
another tip I have is to always make sure that you're looking at your lens instead of your viewfinder. It's important to make sure you're in focus, but you're going to want to be looking at the lens later in your photos. I also kind of like different um, angles, so instead of me just being in the center of the photo like I have been, I actually angled the camera up so that I can kind of be um, at the bottom of the picture with all of these trees and stuff and the sun coming in behind me. But I want to make sure that I'm still in focus. It's hard to tell from back here. You also want to kind of make sure you're doing a bunch of different facial expressions. You want to have somewhere you're smiling, somewhere you're more serious, somewhere you're kind of like smirking. You want a whole good mix of them. Ooh, this breeze is coming in good. I like it. these right here but I'm gonna move areas okay I'm just kidding I'm not going to move areas yet because I went to go pick up my tripod and I remembered I wanted some with my bag so the lighting here isn't actually as horrible as I thought it would be so Sometimes I feel like I wish I could be a brand rep for everyone. I have certain brands that I just like really, really love and I wish I could rep for them all the time and do pictures and get free stuff. Serengeti would be one of those. I was a like college rep for them. Um, I also wish I could do it for House of Flame because I really like this backpack so far. And Keds. I would absolutely be a brand rep for kids. Now it's time to move. All right, so over here, I found this little log and I actually have my camera set up so that it will be shot in portrait mode instead of landscape. Um, I guess I should say portrait orientation, not mode. I'm shooting in manual mode. I don't know if I said that. Um, but I always like to check to make sure that I like what the settings and like the picture kind of looks like on the back of my camera. Before I get all set up, one thing with feet in photos, um, you always want to make sure that they are pointed if they are barefoot and I think I'm gonna hide my shoes and make my toes barefoot. Nature, right? I can't tell from the angle that I'm looking at my camera at but you always want to try to make sure that you have everything down here in the frame and everything on both sides so I wouldn't want to stick my leg too far out and then not have that in the picture. Um, I think I'm going to try to change it up and get that out of the way. I hope that's out of the way. The shoes I'm going out of the way. Oh. I'm going to turn around here kind of face the camera. going to take a little break to look at them and then see if I need to address anything or if that is enough for today. All right so um, a lot of those shots had my toes cut off and some of them were not in focus so they were not the best but I did get a few good ones and I only need a few I don't need like whoop, a ton of them so um, I think I'm gonna call it a day. But thank you so much for watching. I really actually enjoy making these. I love 
photography related videos because I'm kind of all self-taught and so um, I never really had anyone who could be that person to me to teach me and who I could learn from and so if I could be that person to someone else like that would make my day so if you guys enjoy these and want to see more of these give it a big thumbs up um, comment down below and let me know and then um, you can see more pictures from this session on my photography blog page. Um, I'll have that link down below also, or you can follow my photography Instagram or my personal Instagram. Um, all of that's linked down below. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.